opinion piece, editorial, from the Wall Street Journal. You'll recall in Minnesota here we discussed this academic program that is euphemistically called Due North, D-U-E, yes. Due North, mm -hmm. which uh, completely revolutionizes social studies uh, to be more of an ethnic uh, study group. In California, uh, it's, it's incredible. Uh, the push to mandate ethnic studies in California public schools has met resistance including a surprise veto last year from Governor Gavin Newsom. He called for revisions in the model curriculum before the state required it. <clears throat> but now that some of the eyebrow raising parts have been edited out, like an assignment about Jews gaining racial privilege, the final course will be presented to the State Board of Education today. Once it's approved, the legislature can again send Mr. Newsom its bill to make it mandatory for K through 12 students. So what will the California kids be taught? A multitude of ethnic groups have shaped the American experience, and some of that material presents that history. That's all to be expected. But the thrust of hundreds of pages of course outlines is to enlist students in progressive politics. One of the main focuses of ethnic studies in translating historical lessons in critical race theory into direct action for social justice, a course outline says. This requires that students are taught to view the American creed as sinister. One lesson plan introduces students to what it calls dominant narratives, defined as stories told in service of the dominant social group's interests and ideologies. A University of Michigan lesson plan that forms the basis for the outline explains that one example of a dominant narrative was the antebellum claim that slavery is necessary for the well-being of slaves. A contemporary example, according to the lesson plan, that America is a meritocracy and anyone can achieve their ambitions through hard work and perseverance. In other words, just as it was preposterous to say that slavery was necessary for the well-being of slaves, that was preposterous. What they're now saying, which I think is just as preposterous, is America is a meritocracy and anyone can achieve their ambition through hard work and perseverance. In other words, these new studies in California believe that to be a false statement, just like yeah. slavery was good for slavery. They believe this to be a false statement. Why would California want to teach young people that their dreams of rising through merit are akin to defenses of slavery? Because a core tenet of ethnic studies is that a person's identity is determined first and foremost by group membership. Another teaching resource warns that if we accept meritocracy, then we would strive to do our best on our own and would focus on individual achievement. They're, disabu they're disabusing students of striving to do the best on their own. They're disabusing the students of the idea that they should be focusing on individual achievement and, their belief, and they believe the students will only uh, achieve through a collectivism. Ethnic studies wants to invert traditional American ideas of individual merit, opportunity, and success. It imposes its own dominant narrative that interprets all social interactions through the lens of oppression, including a worksheet on the four eyes of oppression, ideological, institutional, interpersonal, and, inter and internalized. If America's traditional narratives are designed to encourage social mobility and prosperity, California's proposed Marxist narratives are designed to encourage intergroup conflict and perpetual upheaval in existing institutions. That's explicit in sample assignments, such as drafting a manifesto of demands for the Third World Liberation Front or implementing a systemized campaign for social justice at their school. When we encounter dominant narratives, the curriculum says, we must always ask, what is the motivation behind this narrative? Californians would do well to ask the same question about the radical narrative promoted in this mandatory curriculum. The motivation is a left-wing power grab, and it's not in the interest of ordinary Californians of any ethnicity. We saw this in, Do in the Due North plan, however mm -hmm. subliminally. What you're seeing 
uh, and we're getting a sharper focus on uh, not only the failed academy, but why the academy has completely failed. What we're seeing is a turning away from what used to be called American exceptionalism. What we're seeing is a turning away of the idea that you can lift yourself up by your bootstraps and make a life for yourself and invent a better mousetrap. We're, we're, we're throwing that away and replacing it by encouraging you to identify yourself only as a member of a specific group and that any achievement will occur because of your collective activity. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how do we explain, how do we explain to the white liberals that this is wrong without yelling and screaming and ranting and raving? How do we calmly and collectly right. explain? Because any opposition that you would try to provide for this suggests that you are in fact inherently racist. Well, right. my, I guess and, my argument cornered at a cocktail party by someone who would believe in this, I would say, could you please give me examples of countries where this has worked? Well, they can't. Well, is it work in Venezuela? They can't, and they would counter with, we're breaking new ground here. We're leading, we're at the forefront. forefront. We're trying we're, to spark we're the tip change. Of the yes. All right, let me, let me rephrase what you're saying, because you're on the right track. They would, be, they would be saying, well, what's wrong with examining and reviewing old ideas? That's what they would do. And I would say, I would counter that by saying, because the new ideas you're presenting are not better than the old ideas in terms of enhancing the human spirit. All they do is debase the human spirit, take your individuality away, and demand that you believe yourself only to be a member of a specific political class or group. Why is that a better idea than rising through the ranks with your own grit and determination? Yeah. Yeah. But the kids are being told that's not the way to do it. That's patriarchal. That's the old way white guys did it. That's Western. Yeah. It's a Western uh, patriarchy. Would you agree that we could use a change in curriculum? Uh, and like, boy, I didn't know we were going to go down this hole. Kenny's brain has got steam coming out of it. <laughs> Uh, Calhoun, for example, we've changed the name of Lake Calhoun because we've discovered he's a bad guy. Why not, instead of r erasing him from history, you know what, we've probably gone down this road already. Why not, uh, instead of preaching that Calhoun was this great, great guy uh, and ignoring the bad things he did, why not teach both sides? The example that always sticks with me is as a kid, I learned that Custer was slaughtered by the savages. Well, as it turns out, as I grew up and started reading a lot of books about the subject, Custer was a jackass and an idiot and an <laughs> egomaniac, and he yeah. got himself killed, and rightfully so. Why can't we teach that curriculum? Uh, you can, as far as I, in Garage Logic, you can. That's fine with me. Uh, many, 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 many ethnicities contributed to the success, to the success of this country. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and many people of, of a variety of skin color have contributed to the success of this country. Their stories do not need to be hidden. Their stories can be part of the curriculum. But what they're doing with this new curriculum is that they're they're enlisting the people of color to believe that only the white narrative uh, has created the situation we're in today which is a great situation, but they want the kids to believe it's a bad situation that can be corrected by their new way of thinking about it. And, and to put you, both those thoughts you guys just had, teaching both those sides doesn't take away from how great this country is. Oh, and, absolutely. And, yeah, and what yeah. makes it great compared to other countries. It would, in fact, enhance it if you actually had thinkers doing it. <laughs> the, the Custer thing. I, I love the natives that, that just wiped him out. That was awesome. That was the biggest encampment of Native Americans this country has ever seen. And that was so cool. And why can't both sides be taught? Because they want a carpet bomb. They're carpet bombing this. Yeah. They don't, they, they, their, their only goal is victory for their system. Their system is anti-American. Let's just call it what it is. It's anti-American because it's the concept, the ideological construct of America itself that is under attack. Mm -hmm. And each generation of activists or whatever you want to call them seems to get more 
anti-American, mm-hmm. since in in my estimation, anyway. These kids yeah. are, 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 however, subliminally are being taught that America is a bad place. Mm-hmm. If it's such a bad place, why is there a crisis at the border right now? Oh. <laughs> why is there a crisis at the border? I'm glad you brought that up because I was reading an article. Which the Biden administration is handling poorly. Mm-hmm. And, and saying things like, well, it, 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 was the same, it was the same under Trump. Oh, it's all Trump's fault. It's all Trump's fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the way that they're phrasing it, you know, under the Trump administration was, you know, kids are being locked in cages. And now they call it the Biden administration. Uh, Trump's policies? No, or no, no, like no. That? They, they, they phrase it completely differently, and I'm going to try to find it. But I saw it this morning, and I started laughing. Just the, the, the difference in the way the the same story is covered under the two administrations. It's, same it's scenario, different yep. title. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, the refugee. Uh, oh, I just had it. The, the the refugee camp is what they call it. Yeah. I, I think what we've learned from Due North and what we're learning from the likes of the California proposals is that, to me, the academy is failed because the academy does not embrace America. Yeah. And I, what I don't understand is it's failing now more so than ever but it's still being pimped it's still being pushed they still see it as the right thing to do and a success and it's clearly not it's it's a miserable failure i would not spend the money i would i would say that the three kids i used to have all got wonderful college educations and did so before they would have been weighted down with this BS. I think I just made it. The last kid I used to have graduated from college in 2007. Uh, One graduated from college in 96, one graduated from college in 2000, one graduated from college in 2007. Uh, They all made it prior to the social media age They all made it prior to the cell phone and every hand age, and they all made it before the creation of space, uh, uh, safe spaces and political identity. 